Welcome to the pioneering new world of farming pharmaceuticals. Biofarming, aiding scientists in cutting edge research. PPL Therapeutics is working on a solution. They want to clone pigs whose organs can be transplanted into people. Cloned and genetically modified cows that can produce milk containing the same health properties as human breast milk. These glow-in-the-dark cats could help develop treatments for diseases, for animals, and for humans. Yes, you did hear that correctly. He has put a spider gene into a goat. Transgenic fish. So the fish actually have what appear to be six-pack abs that we see in humans. My friends, I am here to warn you. I am here to alert you to the greatest threat to our species and our civilization on this planet. Humanity in just the last hundred years has increased its technological and scientific knowledge thousands and thousands of times what it was. But we are still the same species that we were, capable of magnificent heights, but also of horrifying lows. I want to talk to you about the greatest threat to human civilization and society today. Already irrevocably changing the genetic code of the biospheres on this planet, and that is genetic engineering. Now, I love science and technology. I know that it's a neutral thing and that man can use it for good or bad. But that said, the controllers and engineers of our society for more than a hundred years have believed that if they can discover the secrets of life, DNA, that they will have the keys to immortality. And now you see all the different news articles where they openly brag about this. And the elite says, we don't need a giant population anymore uh, to run our technological systems. We're now phasing into robotics, uh, where the military's aircraft will be drone, uh, where combat robots will do the fighting, where manufacturing will be carried on and executed by non-biological systems. So there is a arms race going on and a technological race going on right now, dealing with genetic engineering. And recently, uh, the FDA has put into effect new policies that allow genetic engineering companies, uh, predominantly Big Agra, to put on the market any GMO organism they wish without even consulting the public. Now, when you look at this, it's not just GMO grass that takes less water. It's not just GMO tomatoes that last longer on the shelf. Every genetic engineer I've talked to who worked at these large companies said that in the different studies of GMO potatoes, uh, rice, you name it, that there would be the side effect of reducing fertility in the rodents, the rats, the mice, the guinea pigs that they tested it on. Those that ate the genetically engineered soy they didn't actually show the problems in the first generation. The second generation was slower growth, slower onset for maturity, but by the third generation, that's when nearly all of the adults had lost the ability to have babies. And then later in uh, primate studies with monkeys and apes, the same thing happened. And that uh, along with the public trait that these organisms are being engineered for, there are other traits quietly being built in as a Trojan horse uh, that cause biological changes in the body, that increase cancer, that reduce fertility. And these developments are a lot further along than the public has even been told. The information is available, but it's not an issue that gets a lot of media play. And even when I have the news articles and cover them on air, I get emails and phone calls saying I'm a liar. I'll never forget years ago, covering news articles about spider goats, part spider, part goat, to produce body armor uh, in their udders, uh, in their mammary glands, that can then be used uh, as an industrial product, a special component. This is the very life force of the planet, the very building blocks of the planet uh, being scrambled together. 
and people would call me and couldn't believe it. Uh, even today, uh, I see news articles about spider goats and salmon that are been mixed with other insects and fish uh, that will, within 40 generations, uh, extinct the natural salmon that are in the ocean, according to university studies. And people just seem to not care. We are being fed this stuff. GMO crops have been infecting other crops, but also uh, other plants that are growing naturally and haven't been developed through hybridization. When there's a nuclear disaster, it increases cancer, it causes a lot of illnesses, but it tends to dissipate over time. But with genetically engineered and altered organisms, it doesn't go away. It, it mixes with other species. And that's what I'm here to talk to you about. What is the greatest threat to our species? It is unchecked, out of control, genetic engineering being carried out by thousands of companies in tens of thousands of laboratories across the world. I remember seven or eight years ago seeing in the Washington Post just a footnote in an article in their science section where they admitted that in Costa Rica, there is widespread human animal clones being made. And yes, my friends, you heard me right. In fact, if you go back to the BBC News articles from more than a decade ago, they admitted that they weren't just cloning humans, that they were splicing them in one case with cow genetics, bovine genetics, so that the cow would not reject the human fetus growing inside of its uterus. Now, why are they doing this? They are growing the fetuses up to close to term, uh, reportedly, and this is what we know about, so that their organs can be harvested. You have your clone produced with cow genetics in it so that uh, your clone can be grown in a cow nearing the time that you need the liver transplant or kidney transplant or blood transfusions, whatever the case is, and then your clone is harvested from the womb of the cow or the artificial wombs that they've been developing and harvested um, so that you can have an extended life. And the issue here is we need to have a debate about this. People see this as science fiction because in movies back in the 50s and 60s and 70s or in the island of Dr. Maru, uh, this was written about many decades before that. And so people have been preconditioned that this is fantasy and that this doesn't exist. This is very real. And I thought that I would uh, raise this issue again because over the weekend, I saw in the news of Australia, human-animal hybrids created amid Frankenstein warnings. Scientists in the UK have reportedly created more than 150 human-animal hybrid embryos in controversial secretive lab experiments that spread over three years. And there's another report here out of the Daily Mail uh, who also reported uh, on this issue. A lot of things concern me and hopefully concern you with all of this, but one issue is the media. Every time I've seen this reported in the last 15 years, it's always the first time it's being reported and they always say it's been going on for three to five years. Well, the first time I saw this confirmed that human clones had been created but terminated before term, before they were born, was in the BBC. 95, 96, you can pull it up. I saw it again in 97, 98, 99. I've seen it in scientific publications. And in China, they have totally embraced this system. They're not only creating human animal clones that resemble humans, they've also created cows that are part human and create human breast milk in their udders. In the last hundred years, governments began working on bioweapons, the Imperial Japanese, the Germans, England, the United States, France, many other governments. And they always centered in and around race-specific bioweapons that would wipe out a certain, uh, quote, race of people, whether it was blacks, Arabs, Jews, governments have worked on them all. The problem in this research is they find that humans are so interconnected and share our genetics across the board that this is unfeasible until now. 
Now, the number one danger here is that governments, when they began to work on bioweapons, first tried to take zoological bioweapons, like Ebola that affected apes and monkeys, and cross it over to humans. And there's evidence that that's what's happened with Ebola. Now governments, in the name of defense, are working on airborne Ebola that will kill 99% of us that it comes in contact with. Then you discover that the ruling elite are obsessed with world government being a mechanism to carry out the orderly extermination of the global population. We cover that in my seminal film, Endgame, Blueprint for Global Enslavement, free here on the web at YouTube. At least for now, we're being censored more and more. Please get that film, get out to everyone you know. So you've got insects, animal genes, reptile genes being engineered into fish and being released open water. You've got human cross-species clones growing inside of cows so they can harvest the organs. Ladies and gentlemen, they talk about animal rights. What about human rights? They're mixing plant and animal with human. And this will allow cross-species diseases to spread easier into populations. It will give rise to mutant viruses and other uh, mutagenic uh, microorganisms that could create plagues, the likes of which this Earth has never seen. And there are thousands of different laboratories across the world working on these systems. We're already seeing clear evidence that genetically engineered crops are what's causing all of these incredible allergies. It's what's destroying our immune systems. More and more governments are moving to not even let the public know when they're eating GMO food. They're coming out with cloned beef, cloned chicken, cloned fish, but not just cloned, cross species. When you read the industry publications of these biotech companies bragging about the part human, part animal creatures they're creating, they say that it was essential from the beginning that they do this so that the clones not have rights. When they mix chimpanzee with a human embryo and play God, they then claim that these poor creatures they've created have no rights. And listen to me carefully here. If this has been going on for 15 years and is now only being introduced to the public, can you imagine what's been going on in secret in government laboratories and private corporate laboratories across the planet? That's why the global engineers are so arrogant. They have been playing God for a long time. They are taking the successes from their research and shelving it under national security for themselves. If humanity survives, when the history of this time is written, our progeny will marvel that we ever survived and they will marvel at the unmitigated recklessness of the ruling class and what they're doing. The rates of cancers and diabetes have doubled in the last decade. We are being tested upon. This is such a nightmare by these psychopathic technocrats. The same government and corporate institutions that are caught worldwide giving children live polio and syphilis shots. The same people caught funding forced abortions in China. They are engaged in this mad testing in a race for the fountain of youth while they endanger the entire species and the planet in the process. This is the threat, not fake terrorism, not mass shootings, not all of these diversions that they use to sell us on having government take over our lives. The threat is this globalist banking cartel in control of the scientific method and almost all research funds on the planet playing God. This makes nuclear weapons look like child's play. And the psychopathic ruling class is selling all of this as inevitable. You will be assimilated by the Borg, basically. That transhumanism set up by the eugenicist Aldous Huxley is the way to go and that they're just going to do this and it doesn't matter. They have thrown it in our face and we're not even having a debate or a discussion about it. We are being poisoned and manipulated through the food and the water. It is admitted we are under attack. There is a revolution against free humanity through the eugenicist mindset of the globalist. I'm Alex Jones reporting from the front lines of the info war. You have been warned. Now please warn others. Ask yourselves, what are you doing in this time of great challenge? What are you doing to unlock minds? Go to InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv for the latest headlines.
and cutting-edge information.